Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Aries, for love and relationship for January 2020. <laughs> Aries, it sounds like you have an issue of trust at this time here. You don't trust your partner. Your partner wants a positive new beginning with you. And they are giving you the complete, like the number one in their life. They want to give you the commitment. This person loves you very, very, very much. And it's really positive new beginning. You are ignoring this person here at this time. You don't want to really connect with this person at all. You feel that they lost their chances with you. Because it, it feels to me that, you know, okay, after you left me, you want to give me that commitment. I want to be free now and I want you to leave me alone. It sounds here that you are not really so sure about this person, they mean it or not. This person miss you so much and you miss them too. And I get here that you are looking at text messages or messages from this person. You are happy and confident that this person is really giving you the attention and giving you the confidence, like you know, it's something really very good, but uh, you feel maybe this isn't uh, the right timing or I'm not sure about believing them or not. You are shocked, you are surprised that after all of that time, after you left them or him or her, you feel like you know, that you are getting your wish at this time because wishes hasn't been really coming through a long time ago. Yes, I get here they want marriage with you. They want the actual marriage. You have someone else in relationship with you at this time. You feel that you want to have the control over this person and you want to move on from them. You are not really so sure about taking that commitment or that love from this person. You are struggling in moving on in a, a current relationship. There is a current relationship here and you are struggling a lot with it. You want it, but it did not really progress. That's the struggle in progressing in that relationship. And you are not really completely happy. You want it to be happy, but it's not a complete happiness. So I see you struggling with your happiness, with your love life. And it says here, the person that you feel that in a relationship with you has moved on from this relationship with you. It's kind of like, I don't know, was it like you know, really some kind of excitement? Uh, it was the moment. It was like, you know, what is it? Um, it feels to you here that um, it was kind of like a temporary happiness. Just let me look at this and verify it because I'm not so sure about what is this saying here. You wanted like you know, an actual commitment with this person, but it doesn't seem to be that, you know, really it did uh, uh, go anywhere. It was that excitement with this person, but uh, this person kind of like you know, walked away, changed their direction, and you are still waiting. 
you are still waiting for that actual commitment and you are being so patient at this time and you feel like no okay there is an actual commitment and you feel like you know that you have been really taken advantage of or something like that someone from your past here that they want to marry you and they want to move forward and end any kind of misery but it sounds here that you are ignoring this person and uh, that's that's your ex you are ignoring them completely because you feel like you know that you are in control right now because before you were waiting for, for that commitment long time ago with them with him or her and you did not get your wish at all and you were kind of like feeling that you are under this person mercy or you were like you know, just thinking like you know, that waiting and waiting and it's making you like you know, drained emotionally and now you say I have the upper hand I'm moving on I don't want to be really doing this you love me you don't love me I'm not I, I don't really want to deal with this and it says here that you are kind of like you know a little bit in a struggle because you do love this person still and you want them to be with you but you are trying so much like you know to end it for some reason you wanted this relationship you wanted to settle down you wanted the love but you you keep telling yourself it's over and you are not feeling very much trusting this person with anything because you have been hurt you felt that this person had been playing games with you or not really being honest with you and you were hurt that's why you isolate this person completely 100 percent you receive the messages but you are holding back and you don't want to be connected with this person in any which level and you feel like you are fooling yourself not to do so because you want to talk to this person you want to connect with him or her and you are not doing it this person is family to you and they mean very well they think about you a lot and worried and worried and worried all the time you know deep thinking this person is really like you know just very very stressed out at this time and they mean very well to you also they want really that responsibility they will change anything in their life like you know, for you they mean it you are not reliable or not committed at all at this time you feel that you have been fair and that's why you are separating from this person you keep pushing this person away here but you feel like you know that you know just you are becoming stronger at this time because you have been fed up in the past patient and fed up in the past to have that commitment or the marriage and suddenly that you are pushing this person away i'm getting here mixed emotions in this i need to verify more about you taking this person back or not Things are not so clear to you and you feel that maybe it's a bad choice you are not really happy you have a lot of on your mind like you know that it's not really so clear to you you worked very hard like you know, in the past here and this person pushed you away they were like you know just in a way like you know, wishy-washy and you did not understand the method or why this person was stubborn with you and ignored your need Right now, it feels to me that you are ignoring this person, but at the end, I see that you are going to return. You will see the light about returning. It's really best for you if you do so, because this person means very well. 
and the love still there. I see you separating yourself from really any bad confusion, ideas, moving on from like being like you know, harsh or, or closed off. You know, your heart was closed off. This person is fulfilling your wishes and I get here they are coming to you and you will be very happy. I see you married along the run. Because if you don't do it, it says here that you will feel sorry if you don't. And you need to pay attention to details here because what was on your mind before, like, you know, that it's all of it misunderstanding. When I see the five pentacles here, there is a misunderstanding between you two. You thought that this person had been doing this to you per purposely, but it doesn't seem to be like, you know, right there because it feels like they have been working on some issues, finances at that time. They were upset, angry, like, you know, life wasn't really going the way it should be at that time. That's why I get here, like, you know, the fights, the arguments, and you want it really to do something different. But it looks to me that there is that strong love between you two. So I see you coming back with each other. How long this is going to take you to come back? Because you are dragging your feet about it. That's what I get here. You are dragging your feet slowly. Let me take a step forward. I'm not sure. Hold on. Because the, the decision is going to be suddenly. How long will it take for you to take this person back? That's the problem here that you don't trust this person. There's, there is a trust issue. That are they just saying that right now because they want me back, then they won't do it or what? Since you see that this person is really uh, trying very hard, like, you know, to marry you at this time. It looks to me that you are going to give it, like, no more time. You will give it in a month. In a month, you are going to be doing it. I don't see the other person is trying to be smart with you, like, you know, just to take them back and they won't marry you. I believe that they want to marry you for real. And uh, best of luck with that, sweetie, because I get here, this person really love you very, very much, and you do too. But um, um, it's up to you what to do, and this is the message for Aries at this time, and thank you so much for watching. Please, if you need a, a private reading for a, a specific person, please contact me on mysticalaziz.com. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.